Fountain Pen Review Day. Today I'm going to review the Uli Splendid Fountain Pen as well as the Pilot Metropolitan Fountain Pen. Hi, I'm Scott. I founded penandjournal.com. I help people use journaling to increase their productivity, their focus, and their mindfulness. And although I don't believe that what you write with is as important as what you write, I do know that what you write with can bring out some joy in your journaling. It can also help you kind of go deeper in your thoughts. If you really enjoy the way the pen is running across the page and the ink is pouring out of the pen, sometimes that triggers a deeper thought process. Sometimes that helps you write more and you get more out of it. What got me started on this was my morning journaling session was interrupted by gear failure. This morning, I sat down to journal and found that the pen I chose was out of ink. The pen has an ink cartridge filling system and I wanted to show you some options available to the Uli fountain pen as well as the Pilot Metropolitan fountain pen with a converter that I ended up using during my journaling session. If you enjoy this content, please subscribe and like this video. I upload videos a couple times a week and I would be honored if you were notified when I do so. All right, so first we'll talk about the Uli fountain pen. This one is really inexpensive compared to other fountain pens. has a nice wide barrel and a, and a grip on it. It makes it very convenient to write with. The, the nib, let me get it close. Let's see, let's see if I can get it close. The nib on this pen is actually really well, really good quality. Um, I saw a nib like this one on a pen a few years ago. Um, and it wasn't by this brand name, so maybe the guys in the subreddit uh, for fountain pens can help me remember what the name of the pen is that has this head. I don't believe this is an original head for or a nib for a fountain pen. Anyway, has an F on it for fine, as you can see that little F there. There's extra fine, medium, um, and stub nose or stub uh, nib, 1.0 millimeter stub nib are kind of the common uh, nibs. This particular end, I don't have any ink in it right now because I ran out, but it's, it's reasonably flexible. I don't know if you can see that flex a little bit. Uh, makes for a good writing experience. But for an inexpensive pen, it's pretty cool. Now, uh, we've got the ink. It's out of ink right now, so I was going to kind of you know show you the ink cartridge concept. This ink, ink cartridge has um, you know, is a standard size. You can buy these. I believe Pilot has them. You can buy them at, you know, Target or wherever. They're, they're, they're pretty common, uh, five bucks for five or something like that. And they give you a decent amount of writing, a decent amount of ink, and it just fits right in there. One of the cool things about pens like this that have, um, you know, a body that's open like that is you can turn it into an eyedropper pen where you use the body as the uh, container for the ink. And that's a lot of ink. So the difference between, you know, a couple of mils, maybe two mils or four mils of ink here versus 50 or 60 mils of ink inside of this body. The way you would do that is you would use either an O-ring or use some silicone uh, grease to waterproof this. You would use an eyedropper to fill this body with ink, close it up, and then you're ready to go for a really long writing experience. Uh, a cartridge like this may give you, I don't know, 50 pages of meeting notes and journaling um, and then you would need another another cartridge so that is the Uli splendid pen fountain pen I'm just gonna do a quick replacement I happen to have another green one I do like this color of green it's kind of a Kelly green um, it's been sitting dry for a while so I don't anticipate it to work um, the cartridge has you know like a little membrane in there to keep it from kind of bleeding out it's just a matter of popping it in so I don't anticipate that ink to experience the capillary uh, uh, progress down to the nib for maybe an hour or two or I'm, I'm actually wrong maybe it's happening right now which is pretty cool um, that kind of ink refill system can happen like between classes between meetings really you can uh, do it very quickly um, if, if you're writing um, and you have uh, you know, you run out of ink and you happen to have one of these things in your pocket or in your journal, it's pretty easy to, to swap that out. Very good pen. All right, now I'm going to talk about the 
Pilot Metropolitan, which is really an outstanding pen uh, for the price, uh, made of kind of brass and steel. The inside of this, I use a converter on this, so it doesn't have a cartridge. It can fit a Pilot cartridge, but also this is a, a Pilot converter, uh, which has a bladder in it and some spring steel to help you fill it, and you fill it in through the nib, kind of like the Twisby Eco that I showed in a previous video. This particular uh, pen has a nib that is a stub nib. Let me see if I can get it up there. See how it's square on the end, which is an excellent uh, tool to use when you write. It ends up writing a little bit of a talus, an italic. So if I were to write with this, you can kind of see that the uh, back and forth writing is very thin. The top down writing is thick. So if I were to write something like smash that like button, that's what it would look like. You see these thin strokes on the left and the right or as you go left and right, but the thick strokes as you go up and down. If you would smash that like button for me, I would really appreciate it. You can turn on your notifications also. Okay, so the way you would fill something with a converter like this is then you would get your bottle of ink. This is just some leftover ink that I have from a bunch of different little bottles that I've run out of and I just keep putting them in here so it makes kind of an ugly brown. But as you can see, you squeeze that bladder and I have to tilt this way to the side so that I can get it in there. Uh, and it fills up the uh, bladder with ink. Let me get it just right. There we go, that's a good pull. So I filled it up, set that aside. A nice messy, a nice messy nib. There was a time a few years ago when having a messy nib like that, there was something romantic about it where you have like a ton of ink on your nib um, where you'd see a lot of pictures where people would show off how much ink they have on their nib. This one does write immediately after. You don't have to wait for the capillary action since you did pull the ink in from the uh, from the bottom. Look at that. I got ink on my fingers as usual. Um, and then it's ready to go. The very first few, the very first few strokes are just as gooey as can be or inky as can be. Uh, but that's okay. It's a good pen. Really solid pen. Okay, let's recap. I do have a link in the description to a page that I've created with links to all of the tools that I like to use for journaling. Go check that out for some further detail. In review, the Uli Splendid is an excellent pen for the price point. It has a large diameter barrel with a nice grip on it. It has a very easy ink filling system. It can also be turned into an eyedropper pen if you want to experiment with that. The Pilot Metropolitan Pen is an awesome pen for the, for the price point. It's made of brass and steel. It feels good in your hand. Mine happens to have a 1.0 millimeter stub nib on it that writes in an italic font. I do have a converter installed on it with a bladder that can fill pretty quick and easily. I would recommend this as a good desk pen for anyone. Okay, thanks for watching. If you would like to journal more, I have a link in the description to a journaling schedule. Feel free to get it uh, and step through seven days of journaling prompts to help you get on your way. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on Instagram or my Facebook post. Also links in the description, go check those out. That's it for now. Thanks. See you next time.